So I am going to show you a little bit about Perusal Live, but I wanted to be able to share some screenshots of actual student comments, but I couldn't show you their names. So I've got a, a mix of PowerPoint presentation and actual demo. Um, just so that you know how I set things up when I'm in Zoom, I have two screens and I run my PowerPoint presentations in presenter mode. So the screen that I'm sharing with you is the presentation screen, but I've got my presenter notes on the other one and I can actually look at all of my notes. I can uh, even mark up the slides and I can also see your pictures on the same screen. So it's really helpful when I'm running a synchronous course to be able to see what people's reactions are when I can get them to share videos. So um, Perusal is uh, an interactive reading uh, program. It, it's an external tool to Canvas, but it integrates with Canvas and all of the grading will transfer over automatically so you don't have to deal with that. It's, it's nicely integrated. But it's great for interactive reading. You can either direct it to websites that you want students to read, or you can upload PDF documents, or if you're having students purchase books, they can actually purchase a digital text through perusal. And so there's various options. But some of the things that I really like about it is that I can learn which parts of the reading students find confusing. You know, there's, there's always a typo in a book, right, that'll throw people off. Or there's always that sentence that students just go, I cannot understand what this means. Well, if they're reading on their own, they're not likely to really write down all their notes and come ask you. But if they're reading on perusal, all they have to do is highlight that little section that's confusing to them and ask a question. Or if they found something really meaningful, they can highlight it and explain why it's meaningful to them. Okay, so I've found that perusal really helps students to understand the reading. And it, it's not just that I can help students understand the reading by responding to them, but students help each other understand the reading. And this is incredibly powerful because when you're teaching in an online environment, students are less likely to be forming study groups, right? And we all know the power of study groups. We know that it's helpful when students do the reading together, when they study together, when they talk about the material. And Perusal provides a nice way for students to be able to asynchronously have a study group, right? I'm reading along, I've got a question, I can put it in there. I'm reading along, I see someone else had a question, I can answer it, right? And Perusal will automatically grade as well. So here's a screenshot of um, just one little section. Uh, this was uh, some of the assigned reading. So we can see, let me get a laser pointer here. So we can see over here, this section is highlighted, and this was a section that one of the students chose to highlight, and they had a question. And it was sort of a yes or no question, so my answer was just simply yes, right? You can see uh, my answer here. All these blue dots here would normally have students' photos or initials, um, but you can see I just said yes. But then somebody else followed up, and they tagged me in it, so I, right over here, I didn't um, block out my name but they tagged me in it and I actually got an email saying that a student tagged me in a post. Like they had a question, sort of like a student uh, in class, right? You've got small groups working in class. It's like, hey, I'm raising my hand, come see me professor, right? So I know I need to go look at this. Even though I don't read every single post that students write on perusal, I, I just don't have enough hours in the day to do that. I've told them, tag me in it, I'll come see it, right? And then before I even had a chance to answer, somebody else, contributed to the conversation as well. And then they're saying, hey, wait, am I right? And they're tagging me. And so then I had a chance to give a more detailed answer. So we've had this conversation, which is just amazing because this is not something that would happen if I just said, hey, you know, um, do this reading and answer these short quiz questions to prove that you read it, right? So I'm both seeing that students are reading and I'm seeing uh, I'm having a chance to answer the questions and let them answer each other's questions. And I have a hack for perusal that I uh, started using this last term and I got some really good feedback. So usually in an on-campus classroom, I do something called peer instruction. I have clicker questions, multiple choice questions, and I, I have a set of eye clickers in the classroom for students to use. And so I put up a question, I ask students to answer, I ask students to discuss in small groups and then answer again, and then we have a discussion as a class. And I really like this method of instruction and I've been trying to figure out how to replicate it online in an asynchronous fashion. 
And so I, I hacked Perusal to do it this way. So I, I made a few minor modifications to my slides so that I wouldn't have to have verbal transitions. And I stuck them up on Perusal. I also provided short videos of me explaining the answer to each slide, which was great benefit for my on-campus students as well, because now if they missed class or if they didn't understand the explanation the first time, they could go back and rewatch these as well. And then I asked students to discuss on perusal, you know, highlight what you think the right answer is and explain why. Highlight what you think a wrong answer is, why is it wrong? And so I had some really great, amazing discussions and a lot of what I was seeing students post is the same type of things that I was hearing in the classroom. So here's a, a screenshot of just one slide, right? This, this slide wasn't a question. I wasn't really expecting students to comment on this slide, but look at all of these discussions, right? They're going back and forth and they're really having a full discussion, trying to understand and digest the material. And here's another uh, question, and we've got multiple choice options, and students are discussing it. And I, I didn't even have to respond because students were discussing and there was a really good answer. And so I put a check mark there just to say, yes, I approve. This is a, a instructor and in approved response. So that is the end of my um, PowerPoint presentation. But I wanted to show you also what it looks like when you're actually working. So um, I click into perusal and I can click into it from Canvas and I, I can actually get a listing of all of my courses. And I actually have a master shell for them as well as the ones that correspond to my Canvas courses. But I'm gonna show you the master because I don't wanna accidentally show you student names. And I can upload my documents. So you can see here's all my class slides. Here's a bunch of different things that I want students to be doing reading from. And I can make assignments from each of these. I can set due dates, um, it auto grades. And then I can look in the book, right? I can look in the reading or whatever else I've posted. And there's a, I mean, it's, it's like looking at a PDF viewer, okay? And you just simply highlight something and hey, look, we've got some spell check there, right? So it's an added comment. And so it's, it's really easy to have conversations with students. So if anybody's interested in using Perusal, um, let me know. I'd be happy to talk you through it or screen share with you as needed to get you all set up as well. Um, but I think I may have gone over my five minutes, so I'm going to pause here. <laughs>